Problem 5. An n set is a set of different positive integers, including a given positive integer n. Let m of n be the smallest possible mean of any n set. For how many values of n less than 2021 is m of n an integer? So this is a question about means. Before we start to look at n sets, let's observe some fundamental characteristics of means of sets of integers. We'll start with a really simple example. So if we look at um, a set of integers, like 3, 5, 7, 9, and I've chosen those so that the mean is an integer itself. The mean here is 6. If I were to add a 6 to this set, that wouldn't change the mean at all. But if instead I'd added something bigger than a 6 here, the mean would have gone up. And if I'd added something smaller than a 6, the mean would have gone down. And we can play the same game removing numbers. So if I now take this 6 away, remove it from the set, then that doesn't change the mean of the set. But if I were to remove a number smaller than the mean, if I remove the 3, then the mean of the set will go up. And if I had removed something bigger than the mean, the mean of the set would go down. These are all useful things to remember later on. The other thing to notice is that if I swapped any of these numbers for something smaller, if I took this 5 away, replaced it with a 4, that would make the mean go down. So we can make the mean smaller by swapping any of those for smaller numbers. These are all things that we'll use when we're exploring the n sets. OK, so let's apply this to an n set. So an n set needs to contain the number n. Now, we just said that if we could swap any of the integers for smaller integers, we'd be able to reduce the mean. So if our n set has a minimal mean, that means that it must be n followed by a string of consecutive integers starting at 1. So something like this. Okay. Now, if we consider what happens as we add those in, if we start with just a set containing n, clearly the mean of that is n. Then I add in 1, the mean will become n plus 1 over 2, smaller than n. Okay. As I add in extra numbers, if the number that I add is smaller than the existing mean, it will pull the mean down. Later on, if I add in extra numbers and they are bigger than the existing mean, it will pull the mean back up. So let's consider the point at which the minimum is first hit. Let's say we have a set like this, where the mean is not minimal. But when we go up to k, we hit the minimal mean for the first time. The mean is minimal. And because we're looking for this situation in the question, let's say that this mean is also an integer. And I'm going to call it mu. OK, so this set has mean mu. If I remove k, the mean will go up. And that means that mu must be greater than k. Okay. If I add the next number in, k plus 1, this is the minimal mean. So the mean can't get any smaller. When I add in k plus 1, the mean is at least as big. And this means that the mean has to be less than or equal to k plus 1. And if we're looking at the situation where the mean is an integer, this leaves us with only one possibility, and that is that the mean is k plus 1. We now know what the n set with a minimal mean is, and what's more, we know what the mean will be. So we can take this set, n, 1, 2, up to k, divide by k plus 1 to find the mean, and we know that that will give us k plus 1. Well, this tells us um, useful stuff about n. So we've got n plus the sum of these consecutive integers. So we've got the kth triangular number. 
and I'll multiply through by k plus 1 to get k plus 1 squared here. And we can rearrange this to look at n. So n is equal to k plus 1 squared minus k times k plus 1 over 2. We can do a little bit of algebra. I'll leave you to do some work there and end up with k plus 1 times k plus 2 over 2. Well, look at this. We end up with n being a triangular number. So we started with an n set, found the n set with minimal mean, made sure that the mean was an integer, and we end up with n being a triangular number. What's more, this whole argument is reversible. So we are now looking to count how many triangular numbers we have. The triangular numbers are the key here. The one we've got to be careful about is when um, n is 1, because that isn't covered in this case. Um, but when n is 1, 1 is a triangular number, and um, the, the mean of the set that just contains 1 is 1, which is definitely minimal, and it is an integer, so we're fine. So 1 works as well. So all we've got left to do to solve this problem is count how many triangular numbers we can have. The last thing to do, we're looking for n. We know that our values of n are triangular numbers, and we need them to be less than 2021. Okay. Well, that means that n times n plus 1 has to be less than 4042. And it's a case of finding what, what values will work. Well, 64 squared is equal to 4096. You may well already know that because it's a power of 2. And so 63 times 64 is equal to 4032. And that's fine because we're underneath and we clearly can't squeeze in another triangular number. So we are going to take n as n times n plus 1 over 2 for all values of n between 1 and 63. And this gives us a total of 63 possibilities. And we're done.